Okay, so let's solve this last one. Um, okay, so let's start with our auxiliary. So that's m squared minus 6m plus 9. And that... Uh, let's see. Okay, so that's a case of our repeated root. So m is equal to 3, uh, which means our complementary solution is going to look something like uh, c1 e to the 3x plus c2 x e to the 3x. Okay. And then um, our particular solution, uh, looking back at our chart, doing a quick comparison, we're going to get something like uh, ax squared plus bx plus c plus e, uh, e to the 3x. Uh, and uh, looking over our terms, we see that uh, we have a repeat from our complementary to our particular. So we're going to use our multiplication rule. And we're just going to multiply the repeated element uh, by x. So that e to the th e times e to the 3x is going to look like e x times e to the 3x. Um, I'm sorry, e my bad. Uh, e, uh, oh, OK. Yep. OK, so let me write it out. And then let's have the conversation again. So we'll say that's one. We'll go to x squared plus bx plus c. So that's our first attempt to fix it, right? However, what do we notice? That x e to the 3x is still an element of the complementary. So we're going to multiply again. Third time's the term here. And so ax squared plus bx plus c plus e to the x squared. Uh, and now that what doesn't look like um, our other pattern. Uh, so now we can just go through the mechanics of differentiating at out uh, three times and then substituting the expression in. So um, I don't necessarily think you want to watch me do that, so I'll kind of speed that process up. Alright, so I finished calculating all of the derivatives. Um, feel free to pause the video and compare and make sure you agree with my ability to do the product rule. Uh, I really do feel like this was just product rule insane on this one, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, so then I took and took each of those derivatives and applied it to um, our general format here. So y prime uh, minus six, sorry, two, uh, y double minus six y prime plus nine y. Uh, and then I worked really hard to combine like terms. So kind of show you all the different terms that I got partnered up. Uh, and so from here, I labeled it underneath the equivalent uh, right side equation, so six x squared uh, plus 2 minus 12 e to the 3x, uh, which then allowed me to line up all my coefficients. Uh, and then from here I just went and solved. Again, feel free to pause this. We've, we've gone through the mechanics a few times, so I didn't feel like I needed to go a little bit slower on this one. I thought I could speed this up. Uh, and so once we got all our solutions, we just plug it back in into our general, and then we are done. Um, you know, obviously, uh, for those that did the problem on their own, you know that uh, whenever I pause the video, it's, it's like five or six minutes. Like, it does take a couple minutes to calculate all these derivatives and keep track of terms. And, um, and that's just one of those things that you just keep practicing and practicing and practicing, and you will get there. So, uh, anyways, good luck on the homework.